Okay guys, time to head out to the range. Today I thought it would be kind of fun to uh, go to the outdoor range. I'm going to take my uh, Stag Model 8 <coughs> along with the Barska 3-9 Tactical out to uh, a local range that's outdoors. I'm going to try to get to the 100 yards, but if there's no room, uh, we're going to shoot 50 yards today and uh, try a couple of um, ideas out that some of uh, the viewers have uh, suggested to me, me being new to this. Uh, we're also going to take advantage of the time to compare accuracy in a couple of different types of ammo. Um, we're going to try, uh, we're going to bring along 55 grain uh, Hornady TAP uh, personal defense ammo, uh, some uh, XM193 and uh, some uh, Winchester uh, 5.56. Uh, the Hornady tap will be in 223, by the way. It's hard to find the 556 in my area uh, with a 1.9 twist on the barrel. wasn't totally comfortable with 75 grain. Maybe you guys could chime in on that. Let me know whether or not I can get away with it or not. Uh, I, I get mixed uh, information on that. Uh, but uh, let me go grab my clips and uh, we'll see you guys at the range. All right, here we go. We're going to do uh, 50 meters and uh, see how we can do based. When the field is clear and everyone is back on the firing line, you may move to your benches and begin to fire. Please check the field completely. Make sure that it's clear before you open fire. The next cease fire will be at 1 o'clock. You may commence fire. All right. Let's see how she does it. 50 yards, or 50 meters, actually. We're going to start off with Hornady Tap. 55 grain, 223. <clears throat> Yeah, I had a hell of a time at first. Uh, she's definitely shooting high and right because of the, I had it zeroed at 25 yards. So uh, we've adjusted her a little bit and I'm um, going to run out there and take a closer look because I don't have a spotter scope with me. And then we're going to try some uh, XM193 next in the top left hand corner. Now you can't see from here but the Winchester was her own. I don't think I'll be shooting that any, anymore. It's just not very accurate at all. And as expected, the Hornady seemed to uh, be the most accurate, and the XM-183 was right in the middle. I'll show you some close-ups once I get home. Okay, guys, uh, here's how we did. Keep in mind, I'm a novice. Um, I mounted this target, or these tar this target of, uh, what is it, uh, you got uh, four corners and then a dead center. I don't know what you call this thing, but anyway, <clears throat> at uh, 50 meters, here you have my first... Uh, eight rounds or so, shooting Hornady tap. Here, over here, you see how I, when I adjusted the scope at 50 meters, um, I kind of overcompensated. Did a little group right here, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get a little closer for you. Then I did some fine tuning and ended up here. That's really the best I could do at 50 meters with my carbine on the bench. Then I switched over to XM193 and stood up and kind of went freestyle and not too bad at 50 meters, I held it pretty tight and then I switched over, uh, with the last couple of rounds I tried to do a couple of bench shots for extreme accuracy and I did pretty good, I hit dead center on the tiny little target and then I ran out of XM93 and went to Winchester now the Winchester was a big disappointment, I don't think I'm ever going to buy the 223 Winchester again because it was all over the place uh, you can see I've got rounds all over the place here. I used a spotter scope uh, and that's how I know what I shot and when and where and so on and so forth. 
Um, then I tried to go freestyle again over here with the Winchester. I actually did better with the Winchester freestyle than I did on the bench, but uh, certainly the Hornady uh, in the XM193 should shot a lot better. Um, so many variables though, it's kind of hard. In all fairness to the Winchester, you know, there was wind. It was kind of windy, and you know, there was maybe it was a little bit more windy when I was firing the Winchester than when I got started. I, I don't recall, but uh, I'll look over the video and uh, see if I can get any kind of uh, indication there. Uh, I wish I had brought a little bit more ammo because I didn't uh, use the, the uh, targets up in the top left hand corner. Anyway, um, that's it. You know, looking at these targets, uh, this could be justification to my uh, significant other my lovely wife for a free-floating quad rail yeah I think we're gonna use this this terrible shooting as a, an example of why I, I I need to improve the accuracy of the rifle nothing to do uh, with my own ineptitude uh, PS it takes a lot of courage to display such poor shooting so try to be kind in the comments thanks